Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install a Facebook Pixel on a WordPress website. So the first thing you need to do is head to business.facebook.com and once here, if you haven't got a business account you'll have to go through and follow the prompts on setting up a business account for your page but once you log in you should see a dashboard that looks like this. So we're going to install a Pixel on this page uh, for this page and it, they're running a WordPress website so we're going to head to all tools we're going to head down to events manager and from the events manager we're going to head to this green plus and it's connect data sources now we're installing a pixel on a website so we click web and connect we add in the domain name of the website where we're installing the pixel and click create pixel now this is a step that comes up and it allows you to uh, it allows Facebook to check and see whether or not they'll use partner integration or not when installing the Pixel. So if you do have a Shopify, Squarespace, WordPress, uh, Wix, any of those platform websites, uh, you can integrate that with Facebook um, a lot easier than actually installing code, which um, we shouldn't have to show you later on. So check if you can do it and just put in the domain again and hit check and because this is built on WordPress we can integrate it with Facebook I'm going to click pixel only I don't need conversions API on this I only need a pixel and if you're just running ads for your own business page you really only need uh, pixel only so now this is where we use the partner integration uh, you can install it manually in the header section on your website but for this demonstration we're going to use partner integration and use a plugin in WordPress so we find WordPress And now we have to head to the back end of our WordPress website where we're installing the Pixel and install the Facebook for WordPress plugin. So I'm going to head over there now and do that. All right, so now we're in the back end of our WordPress website. We're going to head to plugins and install a new plugin. So we're going to add new. And we're going to search for Facebook for WordPress. And we're going to click install now on this first one. And click activate. Awesome. So plugins activated. It is in, uh, sorry, it is in the, um, settings here settings column but you can just click above you'll have this little option here so you can follow the steps to complete the configuration and we'll go click get started continue continue and here's where we select the pages and managers of what is for that site or that page so we want this page we want to connect it to this page uh, we don't have an ad account eligible so we're going to create a new one I'm going to call it PDH continue
and now we're going to continue. We're going to add the pixel. Continue. Continue. And we're going to hit next. This is checked. That's okay. And we're done. We just have to wait for this uh, little section to finish loading and we can trust the site, hit confirm. And that step is out of the way. So we have the plugin installed and it is connected through to Facebook. So we can go through and complete the connection in the business suite now. So we'll check and see if it is working. We'll send test traffic. And it is active. So it is installed and working. So we'll click next. And this is where we set up events on the website that you want the pixel to actually track. So when people land on the site and go through different steps, whether they click on buttons or submit forms or purchase products. Well, yeah, you want to track those events. So we head to the domain again, and this should open up a little box that will assist us when we're selecting what we want to track. So for starters, I just want to track the actual URL as a view content and I don't want to include it as a value. It has no value. Hit confirm. So that's one. I want to track the send message button and that will be A, we will call that a contact form button. So we'll hit as a contact. And if anyone clicks on the phone number, I'm going to track that as a lead because they're getting in contact with the business. That's a lead and it doesn't have a monetary value so do not include and that is about it for now for the setup so we click finish and we can skip this so now we've got the event set up the pixels installed we click next and finish so this is the pixel in the business suite and it will take you know, half an hour to an hour for actual data to you know become available in in this uh, dashboard here so just be patient for that to happen so moving on from here we want to verify the domain name with Facebook so from here, we will head to business settings. We'll go to brand safety, domains, and we'll add in the domain name. Click add. Awesome. So uh, a few different ways you can do this. Uh, add it to the code of the website the root directory or the way I like to do it is creating a DNS text record. So where the domain name is um, registered, you will go over there and change your DNS settings. So I'll head over to my uh, DNS registrar, which is Bluehost, and we'll run through the steps in how to add in a text record. All right, so here I am in the back end of the domain register so the dns settings uh each 
settings platform dashboard whatever you want to call it is going to look different compared to um, what provider you're with so whether you're with GoDaddy or Namecheap you're going to have a different looking back end but for these purposes I'm going to use this I'm with Bluehost and the principles still remain the same you still have to change or sorry add in a text record to the DNS settings so I'm going to copy this string of code here I'm going to copy that I'm going to head to the DNS settings I'm going to scroll until I find the text record I'm going to add record host record is okay uh, some providers want to either put the at symbol or the domain name so it would be um, in this instance it would be this domain name as the value for the host record or you can leave it empty some providers don't like it empty so it's either got to be the at sign and then some providers don't like the at sign so you just one of those three options will work I just leave it empty on this because it's giving me a green tick and it's fine I'm going to paste the code in here that we've copied I'm going to put TTL to the lowest possible time and I'm going to hit save and we have an issue so let's try the at symbol saved so it didn't like it empty so yeah at symbol or the domain name perfect so from here we can head back to the business settings and it's going to take a little while for the uh, domain name to be verified and propagate across so you know they've saying it here it can be, be up to 72 hours but uh, I haven't had them take that long maybe 30 minutes to an hour sometimes even five minutes but it won't work straight away so I'm gonna pause here and catch back up once it's been verified awesome so we are verified so from here I'm just gonna do a few more steps and our pixel will be fully ready and to start capturing data so we will click done and the first thing I'm going to do is add an asset to this domain name and that will be the page so I'll add that asset in which is now connected and I'm going to go back to data sources I'm going to go to the pixel I'm going to click on our pixel and I'm going to add people to that pixel and I'll add myself and I'll give myself full control to manage the pixel and I'm also going to add in the ad account that we created earlier done so now that pixel is fully set up uh, we're all linked with uh, people pages and pixels and ad accounts and it is green so it is ready to go we can actually check it in events manager and you should start seeing some data come through from events so we have uh, active integrations we're on one website we have page views and obviously we don't have any of these yet because no one has clicked through on the contact form or lead so from here that is basically it you are pretty much set up and good to go so that is how to install a Facebook pixel on a WordPress website so if you have any questions please just let me know drop a comment email whatever get in contact and we'll sort it out from from where you are awesome thanks guys